guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair lately. I was just thinking about it. I think in almost every Instagram picture that I posted, I have these really like loose natural waves in my hair. And I figured I'd show you how I do that today. I finally figured out a way that I really, really like to do my hair. And I just picked up this heat tool. I'll show it to you in a sec. And about like a month ago, and it's very, First of all, it's really inexpensive, and second of all, it works super well. You just kind of have to get used to it and get the technique down. The one thing I really want to try is the Dyson hair dryer and also the Air Wrap curling iron. I'm like dying to try that, but it's crazy expensive. The set for the curling iron is like $500, and then the hair dryer itself is $399 which is crazy. Let's get started with this. This is gonna be fun, just chit-chatting and doing my hair today. Anyway, uh, the curling iron that I'm also using, I'm gonna go over. So this is by Bedhead, so inexpensive. I got it at Ulta, and it's a one and one half inch curling wand. So basically, there's no clamp on it. This is the biggest curling iron I own, and I think it's great because since it's so big, it gets really big curls. You just have to hold them on there long enough for them to stay and then I'll show you the technique in a sec. There's actually no heat setting with this which I don't really like but we're just gonna leave that on for now. The first thing that I'm gonna do is always always spray your hair with heat protectant. This just you know I always get my ends too. By the way my hair is probably like to my belly button right now and in the summer it was more towards my waist. Usually every once in a while I'll get it trimmed really nicely because it just feels really healthy after that. I feel like that's important to do. Then I take a little hairspray and put it over my heat protectant. And the reason why I do this is because it really holds the curl. Then I will just start to gather my hair in half like this and put it right on top of my head with one of these hair clips. I actually got those at Marshalls for like $5. Really inexpensive. And then I'll start to work on the bottom. Obviously I don't do this every day to my hair because heat is really damaging but it's something I like to do every once in a while like if I'm filming or taking pictures something like that so here it is and it gets pretty hot I'm gonna take like maybe a medium sized section not too small not too big all right you're gonna start at the back of your head wrap away from your face and you're gonna hold it for 10 seconds make sure you hold it because it's a really big barrel and it needs as much time on here as possible and then what I do is slowly drop it into my hand just so it can cool for maybe just a couple of seconds. I don't drop it right away and then I let it drop. This is the loose curl that you'll get and then I just put it behind me. But making sure that you're wrapping away from your face and also holding it as long as 10 seconds is important. So again, I'm gonna go behind my head, wrap away from my face and hold for 10 seconds and we'll do it again. Make sure you try to drop it in your hand. I feel like this technique will take a couple of tries if you're not used to just because you can burn your hand really easily that's the curl that you'll get now the reason why I say that is because a lot of the time I'll um sometimes I still burn my hand but I'm so used to this that I don't wear a glove but if you're not comfortable with this definitely use a glove sometimes I leave the ends out just a little bit so it's really natural and then like as it's sitting in my hand it's you know cooling okay that's that anyway then what I'll go and do is shake it a little bit <laughs> then I'll spray it with some hairspray from Paul Mitchell and that way it just stays while I'm working on the other sections I don't have to worry that they'll fall out I'm gonna work on the other side and then I'll catch you in a sec and just do the same thing I mean I'll show you really quick there we go let it cool and boom there's like a perfect curl right but I think the great thing with the bigger wand or clamp is just that you're gonna get that big natural voluminous curls now i'm done with this side and i just kind of finger comb it just a little bit and then spray my hairspray here's what they both look like sorry i'm just looking in the viewfinder to see how they look now we're gonna work with the top of my head so basically i'll take the clip out and we're gonna work with the front two sections take a little hair from here a little hair from here and this third section i'm just gonna clip up again because I would be working with too much if I kept that down. So I just clip it. I look crazy, I know. I'm gonna brush this out a little bit. Spray it. Basically just do the same process. Take the medium section, wrap away. 
leave it there for 10 seconds and then let it drop there we go I realize that everybody has different hair types whether you have thick hair thin hair short hair long hair I mean everybody's different Ooh, almost forgot I was curling <laughs> and you know everybody's gonna react differently to this hairstyle but this is what works on me and I wanted to share it anyway because if you have hair like me or you want to do your hair like me then there you go <laughs> and this last section I'll just do the same thing sometimes I'll wiggle the wand a little bit just to kind of get out just burn my hand just to kind of get shape to it and then that's that boom and then I'll spray it Then I'll take one of my clips, clip it, and yeah, I love the way it looks. Look at how big the curls are. Moving on, I'm going to start with this side again and do the same thing. I'm going to take the back section right here and brush it out a little bit. Now I'm just gonna take these clips out because that's not part of the look and boom. We have these like super voluminous, natural looking loose curls, which I absolutely am obsessed with doing. Definitely let me know what other hair videos I should do. Along with that, let me know like what hair products and masks you recommend because I'm definitely like looking for some. I use this one, I think it's by Shea Moisture and it's like a mask that I use in the shower. But yeah, that's that. That's the finished look. I hope you liked it. As the day goes on, they'll get more and more natural, which I think is part of the look. I hope you guys liked this. This was fun. I'm just like sitting here on my floor doing my hair as if I was going to do it for a video. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.